an important report about what's happening to religious freedom in China. Bob Fu is a Chinese-American pastor who founded China Aid, which provides legal aid to Christians in China. Well, last Thursday, he tweeted, quote, new cultural revolution starts in hashtag CCP China. This notice to students in a first grade class demanding all parents and teachers to hunt all religious books, antagonistic books and overseas books, including books and videos that are copied, duplicated and translated. Everyone is mandated. CBN News Chief International Correspondent Gary Lane is here with more on this story. So, Gary, is this a sudden development? Uh, why is it happening now? Well, you know, the Chinese Communist Party's modus operandi is to indoctrinate all students into the Chinese uh, Communist Party way. And so this is just more of that. But this includes Bibles, George. But why is it happening now? Because guess what? We've got an Olympics coming up, and the Chinese Communist government does not want any disruption for the Olympics. So they really fear that there could be protests, uh, pro-democracy uh, movement going, and so forth, leading up to the Olympics and during the Olympics. So this sends a message to the parents, look, no outside influence. We don't want any collusion with foreigners here, uh, because they know that foreigners of course, are pro-democracy. And so they're indoctrinating the students, but they're also targeting uh, not only the youth of China, but also sending a message to the adults. Uh, Gary, this is being called, uh, at least according to Bob Fu, a new cultural uh, revolution. How does it differ from Mao's cultural revolution back in the 1960s? Well, as you know, Mao's cultural revolution in 1966 through 1979 uh, targeted many intellectuals and anyone that he considered to be uh, an opponent of uh, communism. And so it was very violent back then. He had gangs, uh, youth gangs that rounded up uh, people and they were thrown in prison. There were massacres. Uh, as many as 20 million people may have been killed by Mao during the Cultural Revolution. So this one is less violent. This one is a quiet revolution that is happening inside China. And it is not happening just uh, on the mainland. Yes. Uh, we've seen this uh, erosion of freedom, various freedoms uh, in Hong Kong. And it's even happening in the schools in Hong Kong. Yes, yeah. but, but in, in Hong Kong just recently, just last night, another one of the members of Apple Daily, the newspaper that was shut down uh, on the 24th of this month, uh, it no longer is allowed to print. They had their last uh, issue uh, on the 24th. And they've got, uh, I would say, probably about seven of their editors and leaders now have been arrested uh, for foreign collusion. And one of them, of course, the founder, Jimmy Lai, you know Jimmy Lai, uh, he was also arrested. So this is very serious. The pro-democracy newspaper, the lone voice, remaining voice of democracy in Hong Kong, the editors rounded up, the founder imprisoned, uh, and no more printing. Uh, in, in Hong Kong. So this really, George, shows that uh, the Communist Party is fully in control there. They also appointed some new leadership there in Hong Kong, yeah. security, police commissioner, and so forth. And this is very disturbing because, you know, Hong Kong was supposed to be transferred back to China, you know, it was the 50-year rule, and they stepped in last year, two years ago, and cracked down severely, right? Yes, and they're very concerned about the pro-democracy movement there, and that's why they're cracking down. Uh, we, we need to be praying for Hong Kong because uh, you know, one country, two systems is yeah. no longer in existence there. Yeah. Back here in the United States, the members of the largest Protestant denomination in the United States yes. recently took some action against, uh, on behalf of rather, uh, Chinese Uyghurs. Uh, tell us exactly what happened. There. Southern Baptists in Nashville, that's the largest denomination, Protestant denomination in the United States, 15 million strong, they came out and they said, what is happening to the Uyghurs in China is genocide. And this is very significant because Baptists say we believe in religious freedom. The Uyghurs have their God-given rights to practice their faith just as we do. So that's very significant, a big step, the first uh, denomination in the U.S. Yeah. to do so. And I'm sure the Chinese are watching this development very, very carefully yes. as well. As always, Gary, appreciate you sure. coming on the broadcast. Thank you.